What's up guys? I wanted to make a quick video showing how to increase the battery health percentage on your iPhone as well as how to minimize the battery health degradation of your iPhone. This can be found in settings, going down to battery and clicking on battery health and charging. This percentage essentially dictates the maximum battery charge percentage that you can do on your iPhone. On the right here, I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max with an 81% maximum battery capacity. So what this means is if I have 100% charge on the top right corner, it actually only has a capacity of 81% of what the battery would be when it's brand new. So I'm gonna be talking about the two ways that you can increase this value and also how to minimize the decrease of this value. And if you are interested in 3D printing, I actually just started a 3D printing YouTube channel recently. I'm spending most of my time over there. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check the link in the description below and we'll see you over there. Now, in terms of increasing the battery health percentage of your iPhone, you can get the battery to be replaced directly through Apple. And depending on what phone you have here in Canada, it will charge around $129 to get Apple to replace this battery for you. This is the best option in terms of increasing the maximum capacity of your battery, but it also is quite expensive. Now you can also replace your battery with a third party battery, either through a third party retailer, or you can do it yourself. I've replaced many batteries in my day, mostly before the battery health percentage has been introduced into the software of the iPhone. And you can get a battery for around 15 or 20 bucks on Amazon, and you can install it in probably one hour or even less. However, if you're using a non-genuine Apple battery, it will not show your battery health capacity here anymore, and it will actually just say it's not using a generic Apple battery. And that can look bad too if you're selling your iPhone, and oftentimes these third-party batteries don't have the performance of an actual Apple battery as well. So in terms of increasing the value, you're pretty limited. Now, the main thing I wanted to discuss in this video is how to minimize the reduction of this battery health capacity. Here I have an Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max and it has 100% maximum capacity of the battery health. And there's really a couple of things that you can do to minimize the reduction of this value. The first thing is into your battery settings here. When you click on battery health and charging, you wanna make sure you have optimized battery charging turned on. What this does is if you, for example, plug your iPhone into charge every single night, it will only charge it up to 80% until just before you wake up and then it will finish the charge, charging it fully to 100%. Now this is a good setting that you definitely wanna turn on. However, this should kind of be a last resort. In general, if you want to maximize the capacity of your battery, you should never really charge it to 100%. Obviously, there will be times where you want to make sure you have all the battery throughout your day. Um, but if you can, I would recommend charging your phone throughout the day, unplugging it around 80% or so, and never really fully charging this up to 100. The more times you really squeeze all the juice up to 100% of your battery, the more and more this battery is going to degrade. Now really the final thing that Apple recommends for increasing your battery health capacity is by making sure your phone never gets too hot. Whether your phone is sitting in your car on a really hot day, or you're just outside and your phone is kind of in the sun on a hot day, or finally, if you're charging your phone with a fast charger and you have a case on, this can really make the phone really warm. In general, fast chargers are going to degrade your battery a little bit quicker, but especially when you have a case on that's keeping all the heat inside your iPhone and when that battery gets too hot, it will degrade the battery. So that's pretty much it. This was just a quick little video. And if you are interested in 3D printing, make sure you check the link in the description below and we'll see you over there. Peace.